Just five months after the first launch of Starship 24 and Booster 7, SpaceX surprised us when they quickly full-stacked Starship yet again. With such amazing speed, there is no doubt that SpaceX could potentially launch Starship for the second time as soon as this December. Let's find out in today's episode of Alpha Tech. When the Ship 25 prototype arrived at the launch site, it underwent integration with its partner, Booster 9, in preparation for the upcoming second Starship launch. Immediately after Ship 25 and Booster 9 were fully stacked, the company's official social media account shared a fantastic video of this momentous occasion with the caption, Fully stacked Starship on the launch pad at Starbase. Starship is located on a tranquil beach where calm waves gently caress the shore under the bright sunlight. This serene scene accentuates the gleaming beauty of Starship's outer shell, with the name and logo now prominently displayed, a clear sign of its revival since five months ago. Elon Musk, the head of SpaceX, couldn't contain his excitement and shared this video, affirming that Starship's ready to launch, awaiting FAA license approval. Wow, we can't wait to witness the next Starship launch. To be honest, this process, though not the first time, is still a breathtaking experience as we witness the sheer enormity and grandeur of a complete Starship. Less than a day after Ship 25 arrived at the launch site on the afternoon of September 5th, SpaceX engineers controlled the movement of the arms underneath Ship 25 and immediately began the process of lifting the spacecraft. Weighing 100 tons or more, measuring 9 meters wide and 50 meters tall, the Starship was then slowly lifted about 80 meters off the ground, transplanted over to Booster 9, and lowered into the connection with the hot staging of the Super Heavy. The new hot staging of Booster 9 has been extended to 1.8 meters, making the stage Super Heavy 71.8 meters tall. At that moment, Starship, with a total height of 121, 8 meters from the front of the ship to the tail of the Super Heavy, became the largest rocket ever assembled. Compared to the Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy rockets SpaceX currently operates, Starship is far larger. If SpaceX can meet its technical goals, Starship could eventually cost around a magnitude less to launch than Falcon while carrying roughly 5 to 20 times more payload per launch. Significantly, SpaceX has notably improved the time it takes to complete the Starship stacking process. Even the addition of the hot stage section didn't pose any hindrance to the process. Unlike previous stacking attempts, Ship 25 was successfully integrated with Booster 9 in less than two hours. This marks a major development for SpaceX, as they've streamlined the assembly process, mostly relying on Mechazilla's operational approach aimed at enabling extremely frequent launches in the future. With a towering launch tower that stands 145 meters tall and is equipped with three massive robotic arms, two of these arms are identical and interconnected, forming a kind of claw that could one day surround hovering rockets, helping SpaceX save time in launching its Starship rockets. Furthermore, these chopsticks also assist in assembling Starship's rockets at the launch pad. Thanks to their sturdy connection to a tower embedded deep in the waterlogged Boca Chica ground and a design that doesn't rely on hooks or cranes for the massive arms, they're far less wind-sensitive than the large cranes needed to stack Starship on top of Super Heavy. Located a short distance from the Gulf of Mexico, storms and strong winds are not uncommon. The certainty and speed of Mechazilla can be further improved in the future, making it a valuable support advantage for Starship's ground operations. The next step for SpaceX after completing the stacking process of Starship is to conduct one final test before liftoff. This test is called the Wet Dress Rehearsal Test. SpaceX will spend several hours conditioning the massive tank farm at the Starbase Orbital Launch Site in Texas. Then, they'll begin opening the floodgates and loading Starship and Booster with around 4,860 tons of cryogenic liquid oxygen and liquid methane in approximately 90 minutes. When fully loaded, the combined weight of the rocket and propellant can exceed 5,000 tons, making Starship the heaviest rocket in history. To put this in perspective, the next heaviest rockets ever constructed, Saturn V and N1, weighed around 2,800 tons when fully fueled. This test will take the entire vehicle through each stage of a simulated launch, exposing it to super-chilled propellants to ensure that everything will function smoothly on launch day. At this moment, the Starship's launch is right around the corner and could happen as early as this week between September 8th and the 13th. According to the Coast Guard's notice to mariners, warns them of navigational hazards from a rocket launcher debris. On approximately September 8, 2023, mariners operating offshore in waters east of Brownsville, Texas, are advised of rocket launching activities in associated hazardous areas that may impact navigation interests. Navigational hazards from rocket launching activity may include free-falling debris or descending vehicles or vehicle components under various means of control. 
Mariners should avoid all waters within rocket flight trajectories originating from launch sites in the vicinity of Boca Chica Beach in Brownsville, Texas. While there is still no official word from the FAA regarding approval, we hold on to hope that a miracle may yet occur. Whatever SpaceX is about to do, perhaps a test or even a surprise launch, it's undeniably a significant step towards a successful upcoming Starship launch. In fact, SpaceX has not implemented any road closures at this point. The company is awaiting FAA approval for the test flight, demonstrating to the regulator any systems with potential hazards to humans or the environment during the initial test flight have been enhanced for the second test. Once the Starship launch is successful, it'll be a significant milestone for SpaceX's financial growth. And the first thing SpaceX needs to do is demonstrate the capabilities of Starship in the space transportation market. SpaceX's largest capacity estimates for Starship at 150 meter tons to low Earth orbit in reusable configuration and up to 250 metric tons in expendable offset that of any other launcher in history by a long shot. This adds to the long list of rupture innovations that it would bring to the market. Two-stage reusability, which may enable a price drop and launch at low fill rates economically, and a unique production model enabled by the use of stainless steel for ease of its manipulation and welding. With such potential reaching the market soon, it's time to prepare for Starship's impact on the space economy. The primary target Starship's aiming for is the super-large satellite launch market. Leveraging its 9-meter-wide fairing and nearly unlimited payload capacity, it opens the door to new satellite designs. Alongside its superior power and payload capacity, SpaceX has publicly announced a significant reduction in launch costs thanks to its full reusability capability. Elon Musk has openly stated the launch cost at $100 per kilogram for many reuses compared to around $2,300 per kg for Falcon Heavy at maximum capacity and a starting price of 6 Gs per kilogram on the transporter rideshare service. Starship could also bring new potential for rapid constellation batch development. Large constellations are keen on deploying their satellites rapidly in order to begin operations as soon as possible. With its capacity, Starship could theoretically deploy entire constellations in very few launches, reigniting engines multiple times to reach several inclinations in one launch. In fact, this is essential for SpaceX's own broadband revenue model, which will rely on the ability to rapidly deploy and replenish the future heavier second generation of Starlink satellites to weigh an estimated 1,200 kg each, compared to 200 kilograms for the first generation. According to SpaceX, Starship could deploy over 50 second generation Starlink per launch. Space exploration and human spaceflight are already being redefined too, starting with NASA's Artemis program, as a single large monolithic spacecraft could replace a constellation of capabilities including a launcher, capsule transfer stage, and lander provided enough refueling missions. There are many more propositions to leverage Starship's unprecedented dimensions. For instance, it could theoretically launch entire space stations as single modules, removing the need for in-space assembly, although SpaceX could compete with such clients by making a Starship upper stage into a space station by itself, having in its future crew configuration similar pressurized volume as the ISS. It could also serve as the structure for a large space telescope, as a refueling station for spacecraft in-space cryogenic refueling is a critical capability for NASA Artemis missions, as means of deploying ambitious active debris removal solutions, and much more. That's all for today's episode. We hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. Please let us know what you thought in the comments section below, because your feedback is very important to us and ultimately helps us make better videos for you to watch. With that, we thank you for watching and hope to see you next time. Bye.